I'm Laura McBride and welcome to my butterflies workshop. In this workshop I'm going to show you a wet on wet technique to create some really simple butterfly designs. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop so let's get started. Welcome to my butterfly design set workshop. So I did these nails on a client um, and I love them so much. I'll show you a little picture here. And they are so super cute. I wanted to recreate them for you guys. So I've already done this nail here, which I didn't do on my client, but it was an option that she wanted is to have quite a large butterfly on her nails. So I did a side profile of a butterfly and also a open profile. So I'm going to use Blue My Mind. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that down from our core collection. And if you want to place an order on our website for any of these colors, they are available over at www.getnailedbylaurenmcbride.com. This is Bang from the Pop Art Collection. And then this is a Flying Saucer from the sherbet collection so they are all different shades and tones of blue and for my background i have used pear drop again from the sherbet collection and i've done two coats on this now if you were doing this on a client you will have done your prep your base coat two coats of your color and then this has just got the inhibition layer on there so i'm going to go in with my five mil liner brush and the first thing i'm going to do is go into that beautiful blue my mind and create the top part of the wing so you almost need to draw this in your mind's eye on the nail to know where you're going so i'm just going to come down and create a band of color for the top part of the top wing and I'm also going to do the bottom part of the bottom wing. So this is going to be our side profile butterfly. And then without curing, I'm just going to wipe my brush on a dry lint-free pad just to get rid of that blew my mind. And then I'm going to go into bang and I'm going to lay that right down next to that blew my mind. And I'm going to start to create the shape of the wing. And then again, I'm going to go in and do the bottom part of the wing. And I'm butting these colours up against each other. But again, there's no cure as yet. Again, cleaning off my brush. And then I'm going into Flying Saucer and creating a triangle at the base of the wing and then the same on the bottom part of the wing okay so i have got a fine liner brush that i am now going to drag through my colors so i'm going to come from the top down to the bottom drag it through and i'm going to do that twice in that top wing and the same again on that bottom wing. So you can see we're now dragging these colors into one another. So I'm now going to do it the opposite way in between those two drag lines. So from here up, from the base up again, and from the base up again. And you can see how it's created the detail in that wing. I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom wing and bring that down and just do it once down in between and now i'm going to go in for a cure so i'm going to do that for a full cure which is 30 seconds and while that's curing i'm going to crack on with my second butterfly so this is an open profile so i'm going to do again the blew my mind in the top section and i'm going to do that twice and make it as symmetrical as I possibly can and I'm going to go and do the bottom part of the bottom wing in exactly the same way as I did the first nail. So again cleaning off my brush then I'm going to go into bang from the pop art collection 
and do that second section and start to taper that in to make that wing shape. Again, butting my colours up against one another, but not blending them, okay? Doing my bottom wings, and this design is so effective, but super salon viable. And then I'm gonna go into Flying Saucer and do that triangle at the bottom of each of the wings. It doesn't matter if it meets because we are going to be putting the body of our butterfly in here. Okay, and then again, going in with my liner brush from top to bottom first. So two lines and I'm cleaning that brush off on my lint-free pad each time that I drag it through because we don't want any transition of colour where we don't want it. Again, pulling it through in a feather-like motion. We want it to be really delicate. And then coming up from the middle and pulling that colour up into that darker blue. Doing the same on the bottom wing. And finally, that top wing as well. So that's that butterfly done. Into the lamp for full cure. Again, only 30 seconds. And now we are gonna go in and create our body and our outline. So it's up to you whether you do this in white or black. I've chosen to do black and I'm going to be using my black gel paint for this. So I'm going to grab a bit of this color out and I'm gonna do the outline of my wings first, okay? So I'm gonna come in from where the body is going to be, pull that up, and just give my butterfly an outline and then I'm gonna taper that up to a little bit of a tail end of a point. And then again, load up my brush, bring this up and around so it's nice and curved. And then again, bring that up to my taper, making sure that our lines are really nice and crisp with a simple design like this, there's nowhere to hide. So again, coming in, down and round, pulling that down to a taper. And then doing the same, and then you can see I've left a gap. And you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a second. So I'm gonna pop that into the lamp. That's going in for a full cure, which is 60 seconds. And we're gonna do exactly the same on this butterfly. So I'm gonna go into my black gel paint, starting from the body section and bring that up. And then again, pull it up through my taper. I'm gonna do the bottom part of this wing, starting at the body section, bring that up bring it round and bring it up to that taper. Again, there's a gap, but don't worry about that too much just yet. And then we're gonna do exactly the same on this side, bringing it up, bringing that round, and then tapering up. And then I'm gonna do the bottom section here Just marry that up and then do the same on the other side. Okay, once you're happy with that, that's going to go into the lamp again for a full cure. And now we're going to fill in these sections here. So I'm just going to grab my brush. And from here, I'm gonna create a rounded area so that tapers down and in. And then I'm gonna fill in this negative space just here, up into that taper. 
like so and I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom section so again round that off neaten it up and then fill in that section and now I want to create the body of my butterfly so I want to create a bobble on the end of my brush like so and I'm going to pop it down and that's going to be his head and then bring it down taper it out and then lift off to create the body and tail of my butterfly and I'm going to do exactly the same with the antennae so just push down lift off and I quite like it when they're slightly higher than one another and that's going to go into the lamp for a full cure which is 60 seconds ready to be top coated I'm going to do exactly the same on this butterfly so again I'm going to create those rounded edges in here and bring that down and then fill in this negative space just here and then do the same on my bottom wing and then the same on the other side so again creating that rounded edge this design is going to be super popular with your clients because it is so easy and so quick to do i did three sets of butterflies in one day and none of the clients actually knew that each other had them so okay so we've created those tapers there and you can bring that in and down and round a little bit more so it's not quite so disjointed which i'm going to do here and then again creating that bobble on the end of your brush going in with the head of your butterfly bringing it straight down and then tapering out for the tail and then coming in creating a smaller bobble and doing your antennae so again i'm going to do them one higher than the other and bring that down and in so i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure now i've decided to go matte with this set so i'm going to be using material girl which is our beautiful matte top coat and i'm going to give that a nice even coat of matte and obviously if you're doing this on a client you want to steer clear of their cuticle side walls and also make sure that you cap that free edge so going in giving that a nice generous layer of matte and this is obviously what it would look like shiny so i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure i'm going to get rid of this because we no longer need it and this is the larger butterfly design that we did I'm going to give this one a matte top coat as well and obviously you can play around with the uh, colorways that you use for this this would look awesome in neons so our pop art collection would look beautiful as this butterfly you could even add a little bit of sparkle if you wanted to or chrome them you know the possibilities are absolutely endless with this so again that's that one top coated i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure and this is our side profile butterfly done and you can see how quick that is to be able to do it's super salon viable your clients are going to love it and it's the perfect sort of design to be able to do that's quite intricate as far as your clients are concerned but when it comes to doing a client if they haven't booked in for nail art and you haven't necessarily got that time and you've only got 10 minutes to be able to do it you can quite easily do this and they will be as pleased as punch and there we go there's our third butterfly and that is this set complete i really hope you guys enjoyed this workshop and if you did please make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to see any future workshops just click them down below Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.